Hello and welcome to my setup of Fraps. This is a tutorial for Vista and Windows 7 users only. If you have Windows XP, you will have a, a entirely different Fraps than I do. Uh, but let's go through the settings uh, and uh, we can sort this out. Okay, so this is what I use to record my fail throughs and whatever you would like. Uh, it's pretty basic, really. Um, so let's just go through it. I'm on version 3.2.3. I have no fucking idea what that is, but I think it's the newest version. Um, I would say when a new version comes out, uh, because it's always a new version, I would wait a few days just in case there are some problems, but you can always revert back to an older version if needed. Alright, so when you load up Fraps, this is what you're going to get. Now, just uh, ignore this one down here while it's ticked because I'm actually recording my desktop uh, with Fraps and that's a new um, that's a new thing built in. So just ignore, that won't be ticked for you unless you're doing screen capture like I am. So this is what I have it set. Um, pretty simple. Also note I am doing this with a USB headset. If you have jacks, um, from my experience with XP and a jack headset, it's going to be different. So, yeah. But the FPS, okay, so this is <clears throat> pretty much what it says, the FPS. Uh, this is where you can do your benchmarking if you want to see how much frames per second you can get to, blah de blah de blah As you see, I don't have that any, I don't have any of it checked because I just find it pointless. But... Um, yeah, if you want uh, Fraps to have a little number on the corner, just click one of these. Uh, I highly recommend that you click at least one of these so you know that Fraps is running for one and you know that you're recording for two because once you hit the record button, Fraps will turn to red and then you know you're recording so then you know you're not just wasting time. Okay, so, movies. This is where pretty much the magic happens. So, let's go through it. <clears throat> okay, so, you can customize your video capture hotkey. Mine is zero. You can customize it to whatever you want. Um, if you're playing like an RPG or something, I wouldn't recommend zero or something like that. Mainly because they use zeros for weapon slots or something like that. Um, you want to record in full size and the FPS now this is a tricky one because if you record any higher than 30 FPS you're gonna get around two to three minutes of footage for around 2.9 gigabytes or is it 3.9 gigabytes I think it's 3.9 gigabytes if you record at 30 FPS uh, this does depend on the game. Um, if you're playing an old game like Half-Life 1, on uh, 60 FPS you can get like around 6 to 8 minutes with that file size. But if you're playing newer games, it's going to rate your hard drive. Uh, the most I've had in my frat squad at one time is 325 gigabytes. So, yeah, uh, you can do 60 if you really want doesn't do that much especially when you render um, I render my videos for 30 FPS so 30 FPS is the optimal one for me uh, you can fiddle around with it if you really want to um, lock your frame rate now I, I lock my frame rate because sometimes I get more than 30 30 FPS per second and that will just increase the file size so I could be going through a bland hallway in like Mass Effect 2 and the FPS will skyrocket up because there's not much to render and everything and you just get a bigger file size and you don't well I don't really want that so I just lock it at 30 so it's usually a solid 30 all the time also up here this is where your movies will be saved in pretty ex self-explanatory there uh, okay, your sound capture settings, again, pretty uh, simple. Um, record Windows 7 sound, you want to record that, obviously. 
uh, record external input okay this is this is my headset right here it's gonna record my microphone the Logitech G35 headset um, if you're using a USB headset just keep those two ticked and you will have absolutely no problems um, I got fraps um, over two years ago and I can obviously definitely say that uh, the ease of fraps has become extremely easier obviously it's definitely improved so you don't have to fiddle as much as you would do with the older versions or the XP version but yes um, don't sync audio and video um, I'm not entirely sure why that would be useful I mean why but it's, it's an option but the only thing I can think about it is is it may reduce the file sizes uh, hide the mouse cursor in the video self-explanatory force lose loss less RGB capture maybe slower I don't click it who the fuck needs it all right and then the last one is the screenshots again very self-explanatory up here is where it will be saved my screen captures f10 um, I hardly use it but that's pretty much it that's it's that simple so this tutorial is for uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 users only this is also my setup so if your microphone or whatever is different then that's fine always do test first don't just jump straight into the game and uh, some games don't work with fraps I've only come in contact with one and that's Max Payne and I don't know why but that it just stays at 1 to 2 FPS I'm not sure why but Windows Vista and Windows 7 with a USB headset this is all you've got to do it's that easy and just go out there and make some quality videos thank you very much